Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Natalie. So nice to meet you. And if you're not new here and you come here often, it is so great to see you. You look fantastic. Mm. So this video is going to be me changing my aesthetic and I think this is going to be a series because I really like exploring different aesthetics and really like engrossing myself in all the different aspects that make you like the ideal stereotype for the aesthetic. I don't know. I find aesthetics to be really really interesting and really artsy and creative. So the aesthetic that we are focused on today is called coquette. I've mentioned coquette aesthetic in multiple videos now and I personally love the aesthetic so I really wanted to like deep dive into it. All of this information I've taken from TikToks, from people on YouTube, from Pinterest, basically the community I have gathered my research. Most of this information is going off of one YouTube video though. I will link it down below. It's by a YouTuber named Scorpio Venus. I love their content so go check them out if you really like aesthetics and stuff like that. And what they put together, what they compiled about the aesthetic was actually really detailed so I loved it. So let's just get started. So what is a coquette girl? The coquette aesthetic emphasizes on feminine attributes and embraces a soft and fun attitude towards life. The coquette girl is flirtatious, confident and charming, soft, delicate, and wears lace and red lipstick. So let's deep dive into the attitude now. So magnetic, confident, aren't people pleasers, and they like to have fun wherever they go. I, not to brag, but I feel like I already matched this. Yes, yeah, so I don't. I feel like I don't really have to change my attitude too much. So next, let's go into some clothing that they wear because I feel like that is the overall like aesthetics usually revolve around like clothing and the hobbies. So let's get into the clothes. So feminine and classic clothes. I just already know this is gonna take me forever to compile images. I'm just gonna step over here so that the images can pop up over here. Okay, floral dresses, PJ sets, ruffled socks, laced tops. Oh hello, I didn't even try this sweater cardigans, tank tops, stockings, mini skirts, t-shirts, laced dresses, robes, heels, Mary Janes, and loafers. Moving into accessories, pearls. Oh, I didn't even try this anyways, but I do, I love pearls. I always wear pearls. Ribbons, headbands, heart-shaped jewelry, heart-shaped glasses, dainty jewelry, red or pink nails. I bought these little pink fake nails that I'm gonna put on um, just from Target. They're called File X. And yeah, we're just gonna go put them on. So oh, that is like the overall vibe. I'm still gonna like put up images over here of the vibe because aesthetics are kind of hard to like narrow down. Like it is a vibe. I hope I don't sound stupid for saying that, but like it's, it's the vibe. Anyways, so next we're gonna go into coquette things to do. Journaling, baking, coquette girls read, garden. I don't have a garden so I can't practice this. Shopping and coquette girls go to art galleries. Next we're gonna move in to self-care. So coquette girls use rose vanilla or coffee scented body care speaking of coffee mm, i make a mean good cup of coffee coquette girls have bubble baths with candles and a favorite playlist Okay, so next we're gonna go into coquette bag essentials. So for my bag, I don't really know like what a coquette bag would be. I didn't really like find this too much. I'm just using a tote bag. This is just an airy bag. I need to buy a new tote bag because I hate when I shop and then they give me these tote bags. And I know it's just for like advertising. Like I'm literally a walking advertisement for them. It kind of pisses me off. <laughs> um, Cause they, that shit's not free. Pay me. Run me my check. Anyways, so bag essentials, headphones. This is all going off of Scorpio Venus's YouTube video. Headphones, check. Lipstick. This is my cute little lipstick bag. I have a bunch of lipsticks. We're gonna put in a red lipstick. Lip balm. Do I have like a cute lip balm in here? I do. I have a coconut lip balm. Sun balm. Not sponsored. Blush. Do I have like a little blush in here? I thought. Okay, I'm just gonna put my nor nors. I'm just gonna put my NARS um, blush in here. This is in the shade Orgas Orgasm. Enough said. The blush is in there. Perfume. I'm gonna put in my Muggler perfume. It's a big old one, but you know, we like to smell nice, so. Hair ties. For hair ties, okay, for hair ties, I have these really cute little like girly teal and pink hair ties that I'm gonna just put in here. So I think they're really girly and cute. Next, 
next a book this is the current book i'm reading it's called i capture the castle it does look old and that is because it is because i never buy new books because i'm broke but i really like i kind of like old books like that look like they've been read before so we're gonna just put that in there and I'm, so i can pull it out of my bag at a coffee shop and read disposable camera here's my little film camera that i thrifted put that in there jewelry i'm not gonna put jewelry in just because i always tend to lose it and i'm also always wearing jewelry so i feel like i don't need to bring extra candy i have no candy at the moment i do this on purpose because i love candy and i love sweets and if i have access to them i will eat all of them sunglasses i just bought these sunglasses a target target <laughs> why can i not speak today target i just think they're so cute and then a small hairbrush so i'm just gonna pack my hairbrush and now i'm ready to go be fabulous but yeah that is the bag essentials and then lastly we're gonna go over like things that coquette girls have in their rooms so coquette girls have vintage decor in their room coquette girls have candles in their room flowers and books um, I have all of this in my room right now. Like I said, I really, really love the Coquette aesthetic. So I've really been diving deep into it already before this video. So now I feel like complete. <laughs> okay, so I am headed in a snowstorm to go get, okay, why, why is the heat like, can we, can we chill for a sec? Thank you. Okay, so I'm on my way to get supplies to be a Coquette girl. I'm gonna get pink nails to put on. I'm gonna get flowers. I'm gonna get something to bake. Um, and yeah, I'm super excited. Uh, I'm probably not gonna vlog myself in the store because I'm extremely awkward. So yeah, and I'm also, it's currently snowing all day today. So I'm just gonna go now before it gets really bad. And then we'll spend the day baking being cute and being you know coquette because i'm now a coquette girl okay yeah that's all i want to say bye okay so the next thing that i'm doing to be coquette is i bought this cute little vase from tj maxx and i bought my trader joe's flowers so i'm going to put this together because the coquette girl always has flowers in her room always okay <laughs> So I don't look coquette right now. This, yeah, I'm not gonna explain the look. I I don't have to explain the look. I'm not going to explain the look. This is the look. Okay, so anyways, I'm here at Goodwill and I'm about to spend a pretty penny, but I don't mind dropping like 100 to 200 bucks if it's all thrifted stuff because I can get so much. And I know it's gonna be good stuff that's lasted this long and it's survived in the thrift store. And I'm super excited. We're gonna get a bunch of coquette stuff. I have my little list of things to get. I have the aesthetic in my mind. I don't look coquette today. I mean, maybe the coat could be giving a little bit. The sunglasses definitely aren't. I'm kind of in like a bad bitch mood today. So I've been... So I've been listening... <laughs> so i've been listening to like doja cat and yeah these aren't gonna come in with me because i don't need to be a gigantic asshole to everyone by looking like that i don't know if i'm gonna like record in the thrift store just because you know i already look like this i already have on like this very extra coat i don't really know if i want people to hate me by like also recording everything i don't know but i just wanted to inform you that i am at the thrift store and that there will be a thrift haul of coquette stuff okay peace okay so i just got back from two hours of thrift shopping and i'm ready for a thrift shop I'm ready for a thrift haul of all the coquette things that I got. Not all of it was coquette, but I'm just going to show you the coquette stuff that I got. So starting off, I got this sweater. I thought this was very coquette with like, one, it's a sweater, two, it's tan, three, like just the little designs on it and the embellishments I thought were really, really cute and coquette. Next. Okay. This is literally the definition of coquette. Look at this. And then it like tightens and ties. Um, and I think this is so adorable. Next, I got this red sweater because I know, and it's 
100% cashmere, which is so nice, but it's just a nice red sweater. I don't have any red sweaters and I really want to wear red more. I feel like coquette girls, they wear white, tan, black, pink, and red. So we're transitioning into a red girl. I got this mini skirt. It's kind of like quilted. I think it's actually so cute. And I think that's perfect for like winter. This, I just got a slip. It's just a plain slip. I'm gonna wear this under some of my lingerie dresses because obviously I don't wanna be there, you know, tits out and all. Anyways, okay, I got this little lingerie dress. It's from Victoria's Secret. I honestly am probably just gonna wear this like around, oh my God, why can't I pick this up? I'm gonna wear this around my apartment. I think it's super cute and curly and sweet and it seems really comfy. Okay, next, look at this, look at this. Like this is coquette. This is literally the definition. Look at the little bow details. Am I, wait, I put it inside out. I'm struggling so hard. I think this is so cute and then i just got a plain black skirt because i don't really have any plain black skirts and also like this is more flowy and i really like the flowy okay so that was off from goodwill and all of that that i just showed you i got for 24 dollars yeah i know right so next after i went to goodwill i decided to try plato's closet um i really try to stay away from plato's closet because they have a lot of good stuff but it is so overpriced like yeah so let me just show you what i got look how cute it has little hearts on it i thought this sweater was so cute um i'm gonna just wear it with like plain black leggings or my gg tights with the black skirt okay yes next i got this cardigan this isn't really like too coquette but it's so soft i literally couldn't pass it up and i need more cardigans because i have so many tank tops look at this really pretty bra that i thrifted it is so gorgeous i love it okay next um i thrifted this little pink lace top tank top and then lastly and this isn't coquette like at all i got this to go out in and that is everything yeah i actually had so much fun thrifting oh, we're definitely gonna eat some ice cream dough 100 okay soft and never butter raw cookie dough. never no. Oh my god, because you follow all the rules. Yeah. This isn't working. Okay, so we got to the part of the video where I'm actually going to transform into a coquette girl. So we're going to do makeup, hair, outfit, club, another club, another club. All right. So I already did moisturize. For moisturizer, I used MD Solar Sciences Daily Perfecting Moisturizer with SPF. I wear SPF every single day. You should be wearing SPF every single day. So we're gonna start with Coquette Makeup. I have researched this and I have a look in mind. I'm gonna link the TikTok below that I am going off of. So we're just gonna get started. I don't hate the way I look without makeup, but I'm like not comfortable wearing no makeup. Like I don't think I look bad without makeup. It's just like once you get so used to wearing makeup every day, it's kind of like to see yourself without makeup. Like I just feel like I look sick. Anywho, so I don't really have a foundation that matches like my natural skin tone. I self tan. Um, I'm not really tan right now, as you can tell, but I don't have any foundation shades that are this shade. I only have my tanned self shades. So we're just going to go for it. So I'm going in with my Yves Saint Laurent Bare Look Tint foundation. So I feel like with Coquette, okay. Can we not? Dude, I'm about to lose my mind. Can you stop? Like, can you work? Thank you. We gotta remember, you know, coquette attitude here. We are light, fun, flirty, not at all angry at my foundation. As you can tell already, this is not my shade. It's, oh my God. I look like a Oompa Loompa. This needs fixed right now next i'm gonna go in this has to get better or i'm gonna have a bf oh my god okay so next is my revlon color stay skin awaken concealer 
Okay, it looks a little bit better. Next, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna contour my nose and my cheekbones, just with my NYX Wonder Stick. Okay, so I contoured my nose and my cheekbones. That's all the contour I'm gonna be doing because <laughs> coquette makeup is very light. Me sitting here with literally a full face on. All right, let's do our brows next. For brows, I use the Revlon Colorstay Brow Pencil. Okay, the brows actually made this look better. <laughs> Next, we're gonna do our Saving Grace um, powder. For powder, I use Morphe's Bacon Set Se Setting Powder in Banana. Finny's making biscuits back there and he's purring really, really loudly. Like, I don't think I look too insane. Okay, the powder always saves my ass. We finally look normal. Okay, next, um, like I said, I'm not gonna go in with any more bronzer because Coquette makeup is very, very light. As you can see, we're not really light right now, so I'm really not trying to add any more. But something very, very important with Coquette makeup is blush. All of the videos that I've watched, they add like a lot of blush. Love it. Okay, now we're gonna get into the eye look. I'm going for this look. I don't really know how it's gonna work on me because she's very fair. So the like really white eyeshadow looks really good on her. But as you can see, like I'm more of a warm tone or at least my foundation is. I don't know how the white eyeshadow is gonna look, but we're gonna try it. So first I'm gonna just go in with a transition shade. She doesn't go in with a transition shade, but I just would like one. So I'm just gonna go in with this light brown. And that just gives me like a little bit more more of like my eyes are there you know for the white eyeshadow i have my bare minerals like glitter eyeshadow so what i do whenever i apply things that i know have a lot of fallout put this right under my eye and then i'm just gonna add it okay now that we have the base eyeshadow i'm gonna go back in with the transition shade again so that's the look so far very very simple i'm gonna go in with my becca highlighter okay so that is done. So the face is pretty much done. We just have to finish the eyes. So next I'm gonna go in with my eyeliner. I use the Wet n Wild Mega Liner, just liquid eyeliner. Let's try this. Actually, I'm just gonna come back when it's done. Okay, I'm not gonna let it kill that shit. I'm also gonna go in with white eyeliner on the bottom. I've been using this for so long, look how little it is, but it's by Rimmel London in just pure white. Okay, next I'm going to curl my lashes and apply mascara. You don't need to watch me do that, it's pretty boring. Okay, and mascaras that I use, I first go in with the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. And lastly, we're gonna add lashes. Okay, so I did my top lashes. As you can tell, I love I love lashes. They just bring the whole look together. Okay, so next we're gonna move on to hair. So for hair, they said a bob, which I'm not cutting my hair. They said loose curls, which I actually don't own a curler. <laughs> or pigtails, which I think pigtails could be really cute, but I kind of have this vision in my head. I have this bow that I want to use. So I'm thinking what I do is I blow dry my hair to give it some volume and just straighten out like the waviness that the ponytail put in. And I want to curl my bangs like that. And then I want to add my extensions because I love my extensions. And then I will finish it off with a little bow. Okay, so I put in my extensions and next we're gonna put in this cute little bow. Actually, I should get dressed first. Okay, so I changed into this red cashmere sweater that I thrifted because red is a very coquette color. And then I put my little bow in. I really hope that looks good. It actually was so hard to get right with the extensions. And then I put in these cute little heart earrings that I have and a pearl necklace. Okay, last Lastly, we're gonna add red lipstick. I wish really ended to do this because I didn't want to get in over everything. And lastly, let me show you my outfit. So I have my red cashmere sweater. I have this is a for love and lemon skirt. I have on my Gigi dupe tights. And you can't see it, but I have on some boots. And then lastly, I got these from Target. go listen to Lana Del Rey and read my little romance novel and yeah okay this is actually so cute this is adorable oh my god okay thank you so much for watching this video was so much fun to make especially this part like the actual transformation 
it was so much fun um i really really love the makeup look this might be like my new makeup look remember when i was so scary in the beginning like i know i had you scared i was scared all right ciao <laughs> Thank you.